What's up, divas? What's up, Devo? So it's Real Talk Wednesday, you guys. What's up? What is up? First of all, I hope you guys are having like a really great day. It's Wednesday. We about to chat it up. Today is Monday, actually. You know that already. Uh, I decided to do Real Talk recording on Monday versus Tuesday. So that way, you know, listen, I be having so much to do. So Tuesday, instead of recording it and then editing it, Monday I will record it, and then Tuesday I will edit it. But today I'm going to edit it because if I told y'all last week about my little book here that I've been writing down, so I've been doing so good. Like when I say I've been doing so good, I have been doing really well. All of my stuff is checked off, okay, for each day. Like I finished each task, um, and I'm still doing my walking. I'm still getting up at 5.45 a.m., doing my exercise and walking. But look, all of my items are checked off, okay? I even gave myself something to do on Friday, not Friday, excuse me, Saturday, which was pre-pluck a wig, hang my curtains up, repot the plants, and edit a video. But I didn't get to repot the plants on Saturday because I ended up, you know, hanging out with my grandsons. They came over, so that threw my schedule off a little bit, but you know, you gotta take a little time off. So I had my grandsons over. So the only thing that I didn't get to do was repot the plants. So yesterday, Sunday, I was able to repot the plants for the first time in my life. Like I told you guys, I do not, I just, I do not know what it is, but plants don't seem to last too long with me, like even succulents. So I've had these plants, um, this either July or August will make a year. That's sometime around there. I got these Jacenia plants, I think that's how you say it, from Ikea for $1.99 or three of them. Put them in the window in my kitchen. They've been growing and growing. One got so big and had so many roots. So I'm surprised they've never even half died on me. Not even 10% died on me. They've been thriving. I don't know what it is, but I did read that they are easier plants, which maybe that's what I need. Um, but yeah, so I watched a video and I repotted them. I'm so proud of myself. Use my Dollar Tree pots too. Okay, so proud of myself. And I can't wait. I'm Look, okay, I know it's just a plant. But I'm really happy and proud of myself that I have, you know, been taking care of these plants and keeping them alive for this long versus I was taking care of them succulents, but they didn't last. And other plants, too, but they are they are hanging in tough with me. So I'm really happy about that. Plus, I just found out that they are actually trees. So I'm I really want to see how they grow. Like, you know, so please. Just pray for me because I had to repot them and I followed the tutorials because I watched several because I wanted to compare notes and see what everybody else was doing. I just hope and pray that they stay alive after I had to repot them. Like, keep your fingers crossed, y'all. I did a little extra too yesterday because I didn't, I wasn't even supposed to edit a video, but I did because I had so much time on my hands and I'm supposed to edit one today, but... I don't have to, but I think I will because after this video, girl, a girl is almost free, free, like free. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, me and Mumsy Friday, we went to Five Below's grand opening because they had another one open up out here. And we had a great day. We went there. We went to the Dollar Tree. We went to Walmart. So we did vlog. So I'll be posting that up soon. Got me some t-shirts from Five Below. I got this one, but this one... um. I got this one, like, last week from another Five Below. Love Five Below. I love their t-shirt selection. But $5, girl, you cannot beat that. Versus, I love Targets, too. They don't have a lot, but, you know, $12 versus 5 mm, I think I'm going to just go with the $5. I don't even care if this is last year's seasons, whatever. It's, 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 it's new to me. But, so yeah, that's what we did. We got some t-shirts. We got some things. If you guys have a five below, tell me what you think about it. You know what I mean? I want to know. I'm interested. You know, they don't have everything. They're like a, a, a I can't even say they're a step up from a Dollar Tree because they're really not. You know, you know, you don't find all the stuff there. But, um, I don't know what kind of store you would compare it to, but it's, it's like a really cute little store, you know, little trinkets and stuff. But anyway, so let's get into this real talk. If you guys want to have a real talk about yourself, you can always send me an email to aprilsrealtalk.gmail.com. I will post it down below for you guys. 
please put in the subject line, real talk. And also, if you want your names changed for the story, the, not the story, but you know, what you're going to tell me, because I'm going to read it as if it's the story. And if you want your names changed, just go ahead and tell me that you change the names, because if you don't, I'm going to just automatically change them. But just keep in mind that I am, um, this is my opinions, and that's what it is. And along with mine, it is my ladies and gents here, too. So uh, let's get into this real talk, you guys. You know I got DDs on there. Real talk. Hello, Miss April and Divas and Devos. I was in need of some opinions other than my immediate family and friends. You know, unbiased. So here goes. You can call me Carla for real talk. Here's the problem, because it seems like an issue or problem to some people. So just to put this out there, I am a black woman and I am dating a white man. I don't understand how people still have an issue with interracial dating, interracial marriage, or whatever. Like, what is the problem? My family, not all of my family, but let's say half of them always seem to have something to say like, oh, you know how we was treated, we picked cotton and were slaves. You know they just wanna be just like us. Look at what's going on in the world and you wanna be shacked up with some white man. You need to stick with your own because you know, we know what's good for us and for you. Like Miss April, I honestly thought we were past this in life and I know we were slaves and picked cotton, but how long ago was that? My man, who I have been with for over four years, treats me very well. He's a hard worker, owns his own demolition company, no kids. His family is so supportive of us and treats me like I am part of the family. We don't live together, but we are always together. He's, a, he's an amazing soul and we are happy and good together. He does so many things for me that just shows we are good together. I just told my family about him because I know how they are and it's not a concern of mine as to what the skin, what his skin color is. Basically, I only told them because I was spotted out with him when another family member noticed us. First of all, what does it even matter what color or race a person is as long as you both are amazing together? I really want to tell them to mind their own business as it's not their life. I'm grown, I'm 26, no kids, good job, never been arrested, you know? What do you think, Miss April? Thank you in advance, Carla. Basically, Carla has been dating, I don't know what you want to call him, but Carla has been dating her boyfriend for four years now, and she ain't never mentioned him to her family. She ain't never brought him around her family. However, she has been around his family because she did state that they are so supportive to them and they treat her like family. But she hasn't brought him around because her family is so opinionated, it seems. They always got something to say. Oh, okay, now for one, we already know he's a white man and Carla's a black guy, black lady. There's nothing wrong with that. But here's the thing, her family's bugging the hell out, okay? I don't know about y'all, but if one of my family members would have said to me, oh, you know, we used to, we picked cotton and we were slaves, I would have to stop them and be like, we? No, we, including you, yourself, was not picking no cotton and wasn't no slave. So let's not include ourselves in what they were doing. But yes, I do know, I am very aware that our people picked cotton, but we did not, okay? That's, that's how I would have had to just shut them down, just shut it down. And then the other part where she said, they was like, we, you need to stick with your own because we know what's good for us and, and you. So because we're black, we should stick with our own kind because black people know what's good for other black people. And that's just a known fact, right? Okay, this is not definitely about a race thing, but this goes for anybody, skin color or race or ethnic background. It don't have anything to do with your skin color of what you know. There are I see a lot of dysfunctional families in every race, okay? A lot of dysfunctional people in every race. Some people don't even know what's good for their own selves, let alone a whole community. So for, for them to say that, it just, you know, I can understand. I can see why she didn't want to bring him around her family. 
But like she said, she is 26 years old and is a grown woman. And what is the problem? Girlfriend, I, I can't, I can't, I can't tell you what the problem is with people. Some people just like your family want to just be stuck back in the day. And I get that. We've been through a lot in life. We have, as a people, have been through a lot in life and still have been and still are going through a lot. And I'm pretty sure that we are not the only ethnic group that are going through things in life. Like seriously, you know what I'm saying? But some people just want to be stuck in their ways or they just want to be stuck in the past because they feel like that's the right way to go. And it don't, to me, honestly, I don't care what your skin color is. I'm going to just say this. My grandkids, they are all, you know, interracial. My my son, my eldest son, he has three sons. My three grandsons, they're half, they're, you're, they're, you know, their mom is Puerto Rican, so they're interracial. And then I have Tinky where he's interracial, his mom is my daughter, you know what I mean? And his father is interracial. So I can't even, I, I can't even agree with them. I can't even, if I didn't have grandkids like that, I still couldn't agree with them because I got a brother who's interracial. I can't even agree on any of that. I just feel like some people really need to chill sometimes. Like, <sighs> Society be just picking the wrong topics to just make a big deal out of sometimes. And I get it that there's a lot of things going on in the world. Cause trust me, I'm not, I'm not blind. I do see a lot of shit, but it's just sad that, you know, we can still sit in this, this day and time in 2021 and just judge a person by their skin color. Like that's, that's the fucked up part. Okay. Like even for them to be saying things like this to her about, Oh, well we, we, we picked cotton. We were slaves and they just want to be like us. First of all, like I said, it ain't a wee thing. Cause we weren't standing out there in the heat picking no cotton. Okay. That was our ancestors. And second of all, they want to be like us. Maybe some of them do. And maybe some of us want to be like them. You can't just, you know, I just get tired of a lot of shit and, like especially when it has to do with color i'm not a racist person i don't really care what color you are as long as you're a decent person what does it matter as long as you ain't no serial killer no no pedophile no rapist you know no no evil person let's just put it evil then i don't really care what color you are i don't even care if you used to be a man and now you're a woman i don't care as long as you are a decent person you know what i'm saying there's some things that you just gotta leave alone like and then there's some things that you just gotta just deal with at a respectable manner and i just really feel like they went overboard like that that wasn't right at all and i could understand why she wouldn't bring him around her family for four years that girl polly was pretending like she had no boyfriend all of that time i'm pretty sure because if she would have told them that she had a boyfriend i'm pretty sure they would have been like haggling her well when you gonna bring him around girl carla when you gonna bring your man around it's thanksgiving you going about your boyfriend and I'm saying this because look how they talking to her about, oh, you need to stick with your own kind. Like, your own kind could bring you down too, okay? I'm just saying, not every race, every race has their good and their bad. Point blank, period. I, you know what? Listen, girl, you find a good man that treats you right and respectable, then it should not even matter what color he is. You know what I'm saying? But I get tired of people like, oh, giving you the dirty looks, if you would, like, uh, interracial, if they see an interracial couple. <laughs> How about this? Now, you know, YouTube is all about opinions, okay? That's what it is. You, you opinionate it. You can keep and use your opinions. It's about opinions. That's what it is. Comments, opinions. I call it opinions because that's what the fuck it is, opinions. Now, when you watching a video like this and you leaving a comment to whoever, or just a comment, why do people feel like it is their job to reply to your comment and, and say things. So there was this video on YouTube and I was watching it. It was a white guy. He was talking about a black woman. Now I've heard white, white men talk about black women many times, good and bad. But the way that he was describing a black woman and how black women made him feel, you can tell that it was coming from his heart. And when I say this, I just was like, wow, he really loved black women. Like it was something, it was the way he was going about it and the way he was saying it. And it was his own video. You know, he was on his phone. Cause you could tell he was on his phone. He had a little black on the sides. 
and the way he was talking about this woman or black woman rather was just like wow you know what i'm saying and I had left a comment. I can't remember what it was, but why did I read the comments lately? Because you know you get a notification that somebody commented on your opinion. Somebody was like, what did he say? I want to read y'all this because I was like, this motherfucker don't even know me. And you sound real stupid right about now. You know, I'm like, wow. People really go there on, on a race thing. It's crazy, but they do. And I, I try not to even reply back to people who who reply to my comment on my opinion because this is worthless. This is what he said. We don't mind women like you going to the oppressor. Smile all the way to your master's bed like you've always been doing. We really don't mind. So congrat congratulations for the blush you got from this. Like... First of all, you, you mad because I left a comment. A, my, what the hell is my comment? A comment about hearing, I said, what did I say? Okay, I said, wow, I've never heard another race speak of us this way. Mind blowing. And this is what I'm getting. Like, I'm getting stuff like this. So I'm going to the oppressor now. Smile all the way to your master's bed like you've always been doing. Now, for, for one, I ain't, I ain't got no damn master, okay? Ain't nobody my goddamn master. But two, people get really caught up in other people's opinions or preferences. Like, so because I thought that what he said was nice, you getting mad, you getting big mad because I thought what he said was nice, just like her family. So y'all gonna get big mad because who I love, who take care of me, who treats me like a lady should be treated, you gonna get big mad and tell me that we were slaves and we were out there picking cotton. Like, grow the fuck up, all right? It is 2021. There are millions of interracial couples and children out there. So let's just get with it and stop acting like Bozo the Clowns. Like, seriously. People get so uptight about other people's opinions or other people's feelings. Like, yeah, I'll get mad if you keep coming for me. And if you say some real, real nasty shit or disrespectful shit, I'm definitely going to get big mad. Or I'm not even going to get big mad. I'll just handle you. But... It's a time and a place for everything, but some people just really take it upon themselves to voice their opinions about shit that don't even matter. Like, if you stop dating this white man, is your family's bills going to be paid on time? You stop seeing this, this white man, is your family's life going to get any fucking better? Like, what is he even doing to them that is suppressing their life? Like, I mean, seriously, they don't even know none about him. They didn't even, you've been with that man for four years and they didn't even know. And this is how you can tell he's somewhat of a decent person. So she's been keeping him a secret for four years. She said for, for over four years. She's been keeping him a secret for over four years, okay? Now, you know, if some shit pop off in a relationship with somebody, somebody going to hear about it in the family. She going to either voice her opinion, got to go get cousin Ray Ray or whoever or whatever. Ain't nobody heard not a peep about him in four years. OK, and they sitting there talking about we've been picking cotton and we were slaves and they just want to be with us, be like us, like and, and, and me, April, I'm 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 running to the oppressor's bed just like I've been doing. Well, I never had no oppressor, um, and I never had ran to my master master's bed because I ain't got no goddamn master, and I never had a white man in bed with me. So, um, excuse me, you got that all wrong, buddy. But I just find like it to be ridiculous how human beings can get so caught up in their feelings, their own feelings about another person's life. Especially if you don't know them personally, that's one thing. But you could be walking down the street and somebody will get big ass mad because they see you with a person four, five times your size, like, or a person that's opposite your race, or a person who is the same sex as you, they, they'll get so mad. Like it's really, a so my lifestyle is really affecting you. What I do, Carla, about my family, I would tell them to mind their fucking business, okay? That's what I would tell them. Y'all need to sit down and mind your motherfucking business. Shut your traps. 
mind your business. Family like that sometimes be toxic, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, it's sad because they just caught up in, and, and they just, they just caught up in the past and past issues. And it's sad because we got so many other issues today in this age that we don't even need to bring up the cotton picking anymore or the slave. We don't got to bring that shit up. That's old news. You know what I'm saying? That's history. We can use some shit at the present time. But she's talking about slaves and cotton. What about the other issues that we go through in this present time? She using old shit. Like, we already know that, lady. And like I said, we weren't part of that. All right? That's why it's called history. Who's able to read about it? Let me tell you. If that was my family, I would just tell them to mind their business. Okay? Mind, you need to mind your business. And depending on who it is, is how I'll deliver the message to you of minding your business. And, and I might just tell you about yourself. What everybody needs to do is settle down and worry about what you're going through in life. Worry about your surroundings and your environment. As long as that person is treating you like you should be treated, then I wouldn't even worry about it. Okay? I wouldn't even worry about it. I would be happy with who I'm with. You know what I mean? You never know. We don't know who we're going to meet. Like, straight up, you don't know who you're going to meet. And that man might come in another ethnic form. Okay? Not an alien form, but he might be of another race. And you going to turn him down because of what your family might think? Girl, please. Your family going to lay up with you at night and cuddle you? No. They're going to take you out to dinner. They might be able to do that, but I'm just saying. It's it's a whole different ballgame with family and a relationship. We cannot allow other people to choose our faith. We cannot allow other people to choose our happiness. And damn sure we can't allow other people to tell us, you know what I'm saying, what to do when we motherfucking grown. Like, there's a, there's a, there's a point and a limit, like, when you're going to tell me what to do when I'm grown, like... You looking out for me in my best interest, I get it. I'm going to listen to you. But if you're going to tell me to not date somebody because of their skin color, I'm going to look at you like you got two heads and, be, and walk the fuck away after I'm telling you to mind your fucking business. Like, come on now. How, we're how old? Carla, your family needs to grow up. And what I would do is I wouldn't even bring him around them just yet. Let it marinate on them. Maybe they will come to their senses and, and, and see how happy you are because of this gentleman. And when the timing is right, you will know it. But until then, just tell them to mind their own business and continue doing what you've been doing. And, you know, I, I'm happy for her that at least his family is opening arms to her. There's they're supportive of their love. You know, it's nothing like having a good relationship, regardless of what race you are. Like, straight up, it's nothing like having a good relationship. Especially if you're happy. Like she says, we're amazing together. I ain't never heard nobody say that shit before. We amazing together? Oh, it sound a little cocky there, huh? Don't you? No, I'm only saying, I'm just, I'm just messing with you. But, I mean, I never heard anybody say, we're amazing together. Oh, girl, yes, you are amazing. Bitch and her little love life. Mm. I'm gonna mess with you. But I mean, like, straight up, like, everybody deserves happiness, so why not embrace it? Who cares what color he is? Girl, if he was purple, what they gonna say? Oh, we told you you shouldn't date nobody that's purple. You should not, should just not. It are green. Like, you never told me that, okay? You never told me that. He got a skin condition. What are you talking about? I'm just saying, like, straight up, to even y'all, because who's watching this, Stop being in y'all feelings so much about shit that you have no control over. Like, for real. You ain't got no control over who they who, okay? You ain't got no control over that shit. You ain't got no control over uh, what who wear. Some people, I even see people get mad about what another person got the fuck on. Like, are you serious today? So you mad that they got a pair of Nikes on? Okay, nobody told you to wear them fucking Crocs. All right, why did you get mad? Like, people get big mad, like, in their feelings over shit they can't control. He have no control over that. They have no control over her relationship. They damn sure ain't got no control over his skin color. Shit, I'm happy for her. He own his own damn company, a demolition company. They better hope he don't come and knock their motherfucking house down where they live and keep talking that shit about her man. She gonna send them right on over there and demolition they shit, okay? And them attitudes. Whole attitudes will change then. Carla, live your life, girl. Be fucking happy. Sometimes you gotta reevaluate your friends and even sometimes your family like that's the pathetic part when I said family sometimes you gotta reevaluate them like mm, I don't know is she really there for me Carla don't take what they say to heart 
because their feelings are really not that valid right about now. They ain't even talking about no real shit. They didn't say, oh, don't date him because he's a bum and he's on social services and he's on drugs and, and he ain't got nowhere to live and he take the bus. They didn't say, and even if he did take the bus and he had all the other things going for him, but still, that's, that's people, well, you know, people, with, some people be like, oh, girl, you dating him? He ain't even got no car. Bitch, do you got a car? They not saying none of that to her about not dating him for any of those reasons, but only because of his skin complexion. But he got his own business. He um he ain't got no kids, okay? And his family is welcoming. Girl, this is the Carlos family. Mind your business and get a man, get a life, get a hobby, get something. Live your life, girl. Enjoy it, okay? Because we only get one. I love talking with you guys. It's always a good time, good vibes, and I get to just chill out. I ain't got to put no damn wig on a tutorial. But you know what I'm saying? Here, it's just, we just talking, conversating. And I like that, even though y'all not talking back to me. So that's the problem. That's really an issue. Sometimes I start feeling like I'm talking to myself. Anyway, I love you all. And I will see y'all in the next video. Make sure that y'all hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss a real talk episode. And make sure that you are subscribed to me so that way, you know what? You'll get the notification. Rate, comment, share because it always helps. You know, hit the like, itty like because it's free and it helps me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Go, go, go.